Welcome back, fellow Marble Gaming Fanatics. I'm My Time, and this is going to be WWE Champions. Now, I decided to reset my game. I deleted it, started over afresh. So, the couple of previous videos, none of that content is on this account anymore. I started again. Now, my main reason behind it was because I kind of learned a little bit more about the game and I wanted to test something. I wanted to test about when to level up people, etc., etc. Do you lose out on stat points if you level them up early? Does it make any difference? And while I haven't necessarily answered all those questions yet, I can hopefully show some of you guys what, what I have learned from restarting the game again. So when you come to start it, you won't have to make some of maybe the errors I did. Now before we go any further, every four hours you collect this loot box, which I really recommend trying to do if you can, uh, because that's how you're going to get some half decent stuff in the game especially early on and these mails you will get these mails which are new fame milestones when you get involved in rivalries and rivalries is basically player versus player where you come up against another player's defense team with your offense team and you obviously have to then try and beat them for rewards and ranking rewards but come to that probably another video because i haven't really done too much of that i've got 10 loots remaining well to be opened and i'll come to battle i have completed as you will see down here the road for the nxt tour okay it has now opened up the wwe live tour for myself we go across you've got european tour here you've got summer showdown tour for coming into the superstar tour now this is at the moment on top of that you've got limited time tours so at the moment it's showboat showboat versus strikers uh, for various rewards you can see five days there you've then got the special tuesday on cage that's the rock versus andre the giant there for special um showboat sorry um that's the yellow mark for showboat pieces to level up people and you've got dean's daily which apparently changes every day with different rewards so there's quite a lot going on there and then we still got our rivalries so you can click on rivalries and this is kind of the leaderboard thing. As I said, I've only done a couple of matches. I won't go into this just yet. But let's take a step back and let's go and have a look at the roster and the main reason why I decided to restart my whole gaming experience before I got too far into it. Now you notice here, I don't have A, Triple H, or B, Mr. No Days Off, Darren Young. So to say that you only get certain characters at the start isn't strictly true i mean everyone's going to get john cena everybody's going to get the rock everybody's going to get the roman reigns but last time i got darren young then triple h then uh, authority sorry i got dean ambrose darren young triple h and then the authority came before i'd completed the nxt tour um, now i've only got dean ambrose and authority came but if we just take a look at my John Cena and my Roman Reigns, if you can compare their powers at the top, right, my Roman Reigns was a natural, got him in as Silver Star, okay? He's level 5 and he's 367 there. Now, I'm going to compare that to, once we can come back from him, hello, see you Roman. Uh, it seems to have frozen, let's give this a second. I'm going to compare that to my John Cena that I got him as that Bronze Star character and trained him up, okay? So he's level 12. So yes, granted 7 levels above Roman, but he's 484 power, so he is definitely, definitely going to hit harder than Roman does when he gets to the same level, um, let be in level 12. As a Silver Star character, he can get up to level 12, uh, 20, I believe when he becomes a Gold Star, he goes up to level 30. So what I did with John Cena was I leveled him up to level 10, I maxed out all his moves, because you have to max out all, the, all his moves before you can level him up. And they were all on, what were they on, rank? Yeah, they were all level 1 before. So I had to make them all level 2. And then it cost me 3,000 gold to enhance him, okay? And on enhancing, I had to use some of the, um, I don't know what they're called, like ability tokens, I suppose is a good way to refer to them as. And just to show you, for an example, what an ability token is, let's just go to any match and just click, click a match. As you can see here, sorry when it uh, loads up. I've got a few things running, which is why it's a bit slow. Dolph Ziggler here. These are ability tokens, okay? You've got a chance to get one of these circular microphone, which is a show-off or showboat token. So you will need certain ones of these, depending on your character, to be able to enhance them and make them go from one rarity to the next rarity. So 
I decided to try and do that as opposed to doing a Dean Ambrose one before where I skipped him by merging two bronze characters together and coming up with a silver character. Now, I can't prove yet which way is the most effective. But what I am seeing is that my John Cena, which we can see here, which once again is going to be far more effective than my Roman Reigns. And I'm going to just prove that here just by leveling up a couple of times. So we'll go to six seven to eight and I want to leave myself at least around four thousand for nine okay so we've got him up to level nine it's 405 power uh, compared to John Cena which is level 12 still at 484 so I don't know I don't know yet if natural should we say or, or superstars that you get that a silver star, if they're going to be more powerful or less powerful in the end than, for example, bronze ones, which you've fully leveled up before enhancing or evolving them. I don't know, but it does seem that this John Cena is better off. He kept his 10 levels, whereas my Dean Ambrose started back from level 1. So I'll come back to you over time, but that's what I'm working with at the moment, okay? So now with that done, we're going to come back. I'm not going to do any gameplay just for today. I'm going to open these 10 loots. Okay, I've saved a few up. I've got a few from playing in game, opening up those WWE boxes and winning the matches, collect them for you. And I don't expect anyone, like any characters from here or anything too good, no superstars. But let's let's just see. Let's just see if I can get anything that stands out. You know, maybe I will get a Triple H. Maybe I will get a Damon Young. Now, let's open this box. All 10 are going to pop out. Gold. Gold can be good, so let's see. Health, no no need for that. There we go, we've got the authority there. We've got the authority, TP level up. Who's this? Juggernaut, that's the Roman Reigns. We've got a Kane, which is great to level him up. We've got a Big Show, world's largest athlete. We've got a second Big Show, HP I'm not worried about. Another Kane's director of operations, the authority, which is the one you want. The ones the ones with the lines across them, um, these ones here, with the green line. They are basically power-ups. They allow you to power up any of your moves. You can pick any of the three moves and apply one of those to them to power them up. So for example, I can power up any one of my Roman Reigns moves here. This Triple H is the actual Triple H card. While um, if we if we click off here, this Big Show again is the actual Big Show character. But once we can click off, if we click on this, uh, okay, it's only showing you the character again. Well, yeah, basically, that's a boost. So come back here, new character, new character. If we click on Triple H, you will see that he's got some up arrows on his moves once he comes up. And that's going to be telling me that I can power up those moves. So I have the required. Come on, Triple H. It's coming to you. I can power up some of his moves. Okay, so I can pick anyone I wanted to. I can bang on my Triple H TP power up. And here, I click him, boom, upgrade, my move comes up to level 2. And it will remain at level 2 until I make him Silver Star. So, coming back, obviously, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm probably, I'm probably not going to work on these two as much at the moment, unless I need them. I mean, you can use Triple H in the campaign already. I haven't had a use for Big Show yet. I am now probably going to work on my cane because I have used him in scenario and I've I've got that TP if I need to I can pick whichever move I want to to do him up I've also got a, a one of these black ones in the I'm not sure what that is, is that was it striker I think it's striker um, in the locker which is why it's got a green arrow here so it's close to level 10. Um, he'll probably be the next person that I will work on. I did start on Dean Ambrose again, but once again, I, f I was thinking I was going to pull him out pretty early on and then level him up, but it didn't work like that. So instead, it worked. I got John Cena, so I was able to level John Cena up. So that's going to be it for now. I'm going to release a second video in just a moment with a little bit of info on this game for those of you who are interested. So thank you for watching. Take care. See you soon.